Let's take a quick look at testing our websites using screen reader technology on Linux. So if you're familiar with screen reader technology, you're probably familiar with this project here, the MV Access or the MVDA program. So this is a free and open source program you can use to test your websites using a screen reader. And this is actually available on GitHub over here. So I've opened this link over here and you can download this on Windows and you can see that this is actually an open source product. So you can view the license and it's generally put under the GNU a general public license here with some modifications. So this is a free and open source program, but it's not really cross platform. Now you could install this using something like wine on Linux, but there's another program over here called Orca, which is actually included on Linux by default. So this is the GNOME website and Linux 20.04, it actually ships with GNOME, but we've actually installed the Unity desktop on our 20.04 laptop. So I was curious if this actually worked with Unity and in fact it does. So you can see here that you can start the Orca program by doing the super plus alt plus S keys. So now super on my computer, since I started with the Lenovo ThinkPad is actually the Windows key. And then I can press alt and then just S. I didn't actually even have to press shift even though this looks like it's a capital S here. So that starts up my screen reader. And then I can use that to actually go through my website. So if I come over here and let me see if I can crank up the volume, maybe, maybe you can hear it. And if I start this program by doing super alt and S, screen reader on. that starts up the screen reader. Self direction toolkit up lid, self direction brave frame, jump to navigation visited link. And now I can actually go through this website and navigate it using screen reader technology. So I'm going to press tab. tab. Jump to navigation visited link. And that gives me a shortcut to actually jump to the navigation. So I'll press enter. Return. And now I should be in the main navigation tab. Subscribe visited link. And so now I'm up in the subscribe link here. Tab. Login link. I'm in log tab. Leaving list. Leaving navigation. Entry. Focus mode. And so I'm in the search here. So that could probably be a little more clear that we're in the search bar. Tab. Search push button. Browse mode. And that's clear that we actually search whatever we entered in that input. Tab visited link tab about us link okay so this is where we are about us so it actually pronounced it as about us so that uh is a little bit incorrect but i'm sure people familiar with screen reader technology can figure out what that was supposed to be tab membership link and now i'm just tabbing through these main links here tab consulting link so i could press enter on any of these links to actually see the lower links in here but tab. go through the conference link tab resources link Tab. Home visited link. And so now I'm at the breadcrumbs here. So I'm in the home visited link here. Tab. Introduction link heading level three. And now I'm in these heading levels here. So these are the categories on this page. Tab. What is self direction? Link heading level three. Tab. Who supports me in self direction? Link heading level three. Tab. Managing scheduling and spending link heading level three. Okay, so now I'm at this link here, and if I wanted to actually go and see the section here, I could press enter because we're focused on this. Return. Managing scheduling and spending heading level two. Link heading level two. So now I actually wanted to read this paragraph. So I'm going to open up my Orca settings here. Screen reader on. Screen reader preferences dialog. General pane. And I'll apply. Apply push button. Screen. And then my key bindings. Key bindings page tab. Screen reader modifier key S. Caps underscore lock, shift underscore lock combo box. By default. Screen reader preferences dialog. Screen reader off. And so now if I come back here and I go to this page and I turn the screen reader back on. Screen reader on. Self direction toolkit uplid self direction brave frame. Visited link heading level two. Managing scheduling and spending. Heading level two. Visited link. Heading level two. This video provides information how to schedule workers in self-direction and the rules that participants need to follow when managing their budgets. For more information, view the accompanying handout. Here. Link. So now these commands will be really helpful. So we can use our newly assigned modifier, which is the caps lock, because we change this from a desktop to a laptop configuration. And we can read current lines with I, we can read current words with K, and then we can spell words, etc. We can come down here, we can read the whole document by using semicolon. And so we can come back here and let's give that a shot. I'm going to enable the screen reader again with Alt, Super, and S. Screen reader on. Self direction toolkit up lid, self direction, brave frame. Jump to navigation visited link. Return. Tab. Subscribe tab. Login tab. Leaving list tab. Search tab. 
Minute in link tab, 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 tab. Home visit in link tab, intro tab. What is self tab? Who supports me tab? Managing scheduling return. Managing scheduling and spending heading level two. Visited link heading level two. So now I'm going to press caps and K to read the current line. Managing. Managing. So that does the current word apparently. So let me come back over here. That's the current word. If we want the line, we could do document web selected. Self direction toolkit applied self direction brave brave panel self direction toolkit applied self direction page tab leaving list banner region utility navigation entry focus mode managing scheduling and spending managing scheduling and spending okay so where that line tab visited link heading level two browse mode managing scheduling and spending. For more information, view the accompanying handout. Here, visited link. This video provides information on how unable to play media. Video. Braid. Photo image of applied cell. So doing colon seems to be the inverse of that, so it seems to stop it. So if I want to start playing the page, I do caps lock and semicolon. Unable to play media. Video. Braid. Photo image of applied self direction. Link. Managing scheduling and spending. Link. Watch later. Push button. Share. Push button. Opens menu. Play. Push button. Watch on YouTube. Link. Hiring workers. Heading level 2. Visited link. Heading level 2. This video provides information on how to hire workers in self-direction by discussing who to... And then I hold caps, shift, and hit the semicolon again, which is just the colon key now, and that stops it. So... Unable to play media. Video. Braid. You can stop it. And if I want to jump back up on the page, I can hold shift right tab to go back. Visited link heading level two. And then I can play from there. Managing scheduling and spending. Heading level two. Visited link. Heading level two. This video provides information how to schedule workers in self -le And then I can stop it again like that. Now I can jump between links with tab. Tab. Here visited link. So here is not a great name for this link because it's not really descriptive of what it is unless you read the whole paragraph here. But we can then press enter on this link to visit Return. HTTPS colon slash slash www.uplidsilfdirection.com slash site slash default slash files slash managing scheduling and spending dot pdf brave. Finished loading. Page has two landmarks. One heading. Menu. Collapsed. Push button. Managing scheduling and spending dot pdf. Page number, entry, 1, slash 2, zoom out, push button, zoom level, entry, 100%, zoom in, push button, fit to page, push button, rotate counterclockwise, push button, download, push button, clickable, print, push button, more actions, push button, clickable, page 1, managing scheduling and spending, heading level 2, when you self-direct, you are the boss of your workers. As the boss, you will be able to decide space. Space. Now it's interesting, a lot of these controls actually are nice for a sighted user, like Zoom and, and, and those things, but they actually are things that a non-sighted user would actually have to go through and sit through to understand how to navigate the page. Now that's actually a feature of this PDF viewer and not the website in general, but it's something to keep in mind when you're designing websites to actually think about the controls that you're building and if there are ways to add ARIA labels and landmarks and things like that to make things more accessible. You can toggle your screen reader on and off by pressing the screen reader on super and S. Screen reader off. And hopefully this video is helpful as an introduction to Orca and give you some basic commands about how you can actually navigate a page using it. It's great if you want to use this information to actually test your websites that you're building for accessibility and make improvements because making the web more inclusive is better for everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.